Good afternoon. We are the Anunnakis. And today we are going to talk about the hybridization agenda for your species, which is Homo sapiens. You need to understand that you are not purebred, as many of you would like to think. You are not a pure process of evolution. We had visited you during the time of your Homo erectus species, and we had spliced our DNA with yours, which is the Homo erectus species, to create the Homo sapien, as we had already covered in our last transmission. So, it is important for you to understand the agenda of hybridization so you understand how it is important to further the genetic strength of your species going forward. All species in this universe, when not tampered with, can deteriorate and degenerate over a period of time. From time to time, you need a little bit of boost to become stronger, to become better variants, so that you can propagate your species. Now, we all want our and your species to thrive. So, we will give you some idea about the hybridization and why it is important for you to know because there is another variation of hybridization already going on on your planet and many of you may not be aware of it. It is important that you consent to this agenda by fully understanding what is its purpose. Of course, you can choose to not, it's your choice, but understand its benefits. So, initially, when we ran the hybrid program of splicing and combining our genes with the Homo erectus, your species of Homo sapiens were created. And we left Earth to allow you to grow and develop your talents on your own. As we have already covered in our past transmission, we wanted to see how you develop yourself and unlock the abilities that we have already gifted you, which are locked in your DNA. As and when you raise your vibration, those gifts become unlocked. And after watching over you, from behind the scenes, we, as in the Galactic Federation, which is comprised of different extraterrestrial species who keep a watch on different civilization, we came to the conclusion that you will not be able to unlock the best in you unless you let go of your previous programs. Now, since we left Earth and we left you to be, to handle yourself, it turns out that our leaving your Earth were traumatizing for the human species. For you used to worship us, thinking that we were better than you and that we were gods and that we were your creators. Well, technically, we were your creators, but not like creation from scratch. And we left because we had agreed to abide by the rules of the Intergalactic Federation, which usually has a hands-off policies and allows a civilization to grow on its own. Now, our leaving had created beliefs of abandonment in you and limiting beliefs of that, that you're not good enough or that you might be defective or maybe something you did wrong or you have sinned and hence that's why we have abandoned you, the gods have abandoned you and now you're left alone. This is very well played in your narrative of Adam and Eve where you were thrown from the Garden of Eden into earth, though there are different variations of that story you were not really thrown out of the garden. 
we wanted you to grow and develop on your own instead of constant dependence and interference from us. But instead of helping you, it created more limiting beliefs of abandonment. So time has come for you to let go of that and become aware that the second hybridization agenda is already ongoing. And this time the agenda has a different reason to be started. So it's not only to propagate humans and strengthen human species and your DNA so that you can continue further down in the line, but also now we want you to partner with us. We want you to become part of the Galactic Federation, which can happen only when you become enlightened, when you raise your vibration, when you become the best version of you, when you become aware of your spiritual existence in other realms, when you can communicate with the spirit and your other version in parallel realities or in other dimensions by any means. So that can be accomplished through astral projection, channeling, psychic mediumship, your utilization of sixth sense or any kind of psychic skills, meditations, and many other ways, lucid dreaming. Now we are not going to go into the details. Understand that in order to become part of our galactic federation, you need to unleash your true potential because eventually when you're part of our federation, you will be assisting other civilizations of humans as their spirit guides, as their gods. And for that to happen, you have to raise your vibration. This war on your planet and these petty things that you do cannot continue. You have to heal yourselves. You have to release your limited beliefs. You have to become your true core vibration of joy and happiness. So the point of making you realize this hybridization agenda is that we have already witnessed various parallel dimension of how humans evolve with or without our intervention. And one of the parallel earths had devolved where humans ended up advancing in technology without growing spiritually, without unlocking their true core vibration. So when they were still in low vibration, they advanced very much in their technology so much that they started splicing and dicing their DNAs and they became more intellectual and less heart-centered. They gave up on their heart and became more rational and intellectual and more mind-driven than heart-driven. And as a result of that, they destroyed the nature of their earth, of their version of earth. And eventually they had no other option to, but to genetically modify themselves for survival on that planet or that which you call earth in that different version of earth. Eventually they reached a stage where they couldn't even reproduce because they had modified them so heavily that they could not identify themselves anymore. That is when, because of their technological advancement, they decided to travel to other parallel dimensions where humans were still, well, humans and living in close proximity with nature. And that is how they ended up finding your civilization from all the billion civilization, which is also on the height of technological advancement and they wanted to propagate their species so they needed fresh genome from humans however the galactic federation had interfered because they realized that these beings who are known as the greys who are humans from a different parallel earth where they ended up destroying their civilization are not fit to do all these experimentations on their own because 
of course, they could not survive on their own planet, and there is a danger of harming other civilization like yours. So, the Federation of Mantis beings agreed to assist the Greys in propagating their species, and after many, many appointments and meetings with different members of the Galactic, Galactic Federations from different alien and extraterrestrials civilization, we all came to the conclusion that we would heavily monitor this agenda of hybridization to propagate not only humans or greys from that parallel earth, but also to develop and enhance humans on your earth. Because you haven't learned how to unlock your DNAs yet, and many of you refuse to raise your vibration, refuse to do therapy, refuse to do any kind of personal development. You choose to continue to exhibit behaviors that are not good for you or for others, which are unhealthy in nature and cause both you and others a lot of suffering and suffering and misery. So, under the supervision of the Galactic Federation and the Mantis civilization, the gray beings had conducted what you know as alien abduction on your planet because certain humans on your civilization had agreed to be part of this hybridization at a higher soul level, at a higher self level. So these humans who were abducted and who do not recall this contract of this agreement consider this abduction because they don't remember. But at the higher self level, they had agreed to participate in the hybridization agenda to share their genome with the gray beings and other extraterrestrials so that we can create a much more benevolent species humanoid species who have the best of all civilizations. This is the hybridization program that is already ongoing. And these hybrid children who have been created many years back are now reaching their teenage in extraterrestrial ships that are planted on your planet, either under the ocean or high are in high altitudes which are inaccessible to humans like the Himalayas or deep under sea like the Marina Trench or other locations that we do not wish to reveal right now because of intrusions and invasions by fearful humans. Remember, there is nothing to fear. We come here for love and truth and your development along with ours. So, we are here to expand our families, your families, so that you become better, stronger, and much more advanced and can lead all the civilizations from different planets into a thousand years of peace and love and prosperity. So, now that you understand the hybridization agenda, many of you may not be aware that you have hybrid children where your memories of abduction had been replaced with green screens or screen memories. And some of you might be unlocking those memories gradually. You might get dreams or flashes of instances of being in alien ships and having alien children. So if you feel intensely curious, if you're listening to this transmission, chances are high you are connected to the hybridization agenda where you may have hybrid children. And remember, you connect with your children in your dreams or when you are projecting astrally. Almost every night your children meet you in the non-physical realm because these children are advanced. They do not have the limitations of humans. They can connect with you telepathically and they can read your thoughts and emotions. They can interact with you in your dreams and 
there are many humans who have officially partaken to sensitize these children so that they can come and live on Earth 50 years from now. They would come and start living on your planet like physical beings. They have the ability to be both physical and non-physical, unlike you, because that was the whole point of us creating such hybrids. And some humans have been training them in their sleep times so that these children know how to acclimatize to your civilization because these children do not understand the things that humans do, like eating food on a plate. Why would you need a plate when you can just eat the food directly from the source? These courtesies or etiquette, the human way of living is alien to these children and us. And many humans have agreed to educate these children in the astral realms and teach them to acclimatize them to the human world and human way of life. This ch these children do not speak human language. So these humans have agreed to teach them human language because most of these children do not feel the need to communicate with language. They do so telepathically. They are connected. They do not have any names, but they have unique signatures, energy signatures, energy vibrations by which they can identify each other. Humans are not used to identifying signatures or vibrations. Animals on your planet are much closer to this phenomena because they identify others with their odor, their perfume. You could say the energetic signatures are a much lighter version of that. And this is all that we are going to talk about hybrid children, hybridization agenda, so that you are mentally prepared to welcome your hybrid children and the others. And also prepare for open contact with us. We would be gradually starting to meet humans around the year 26, 27. That, that is our schedule unless there are some disruptions. And if we feel that energetically humans are not ready for this yet. But so far, there is a 96% probability for us to meet you around that time. And how you can prepare to meet us and hold your own is by raising your vibration. So do as much therapy, do as much coaching, do as much energy healing, do as much inner child work, do as much shadow work, do as much work that you need to do on yourself to create a good emotional and mental hygiene. Get to know yourself very deeply. Discover yourself who you are. Do not follow the cultural trance or the societal rules of this is right that is wrong it's time to let them go it's time to be your full selves without any shame without any hesitation do what you love let go of inhibitions and judgments stop judging yourself harshly and stop judging others harshly for what they are allow people to be to do whatever they wish be respectful to all people and communities, even if you do not agree to their way of living, for they are not harming you. If you don't like something, move away from that. Do what you prefer, move towards what you prefer, instead of constantly giving hate speech and criticisms towards others. Live and let live. It has. It is time for you now to become an evolved being a better quality humans to unlock your dna some of you will choose to move to that version of earth the golden version of earth where there is eternal peace and prosperity and abundance and connection with nature and all species live in harmony whereas some of you will continue to be the victims of duality and negativity and this divide this Splitting prism is becoming wider. More and more of you are becoming isolated because now you're realizing that you do not like being with such people who are judgmental, who are harsh, who do not allow yourselves to be. And most of you may notice that it is directly from your family members. So a lot of people are leaving their families, their spouses, and changing their lives 
because time has come for them to be in alignment with who they are and seek people who are like them and who would love and accept them for who they are. It's trying to find like-minded people and bond with them instead of sticking with the older paradigms that you must stick with your family or you must stick with toxic people because that is the right thing to do. Not anymore. Do what gives you joy. Be with people who nourish you, who cheerlead you instead of criticizing you or bringing you down. The more you become your real self, the more joyful and abundant you are going to become. That is your incentive. And the more you are going to move towards the golden earth frequency. For those who do not wish to, they would be moving away to a different parallel version of earth where they do not experience this. And you will never see such people ever in your life ever again because they have moved to a different version of earth and they are not on your earth anymore. They have chosen to not exist on your version of earth. So this is going to become more and more obvious. You are going to see more strife, more conflicts on your earth until we meet you because that is not a bad thing. That is a good thing. It means that you are not going to tolerate nonsense of any kind anymore. You are readying yourself to ascend. And a lot of you have the concept of ascension wrong. So we are going to cover in our upcoming transmission what the concepts of ascension are. And we are going to help you get started on becoming the master manifester, the magician, the manifester of your dream life and your dream self we are going to get you started on that provided that you are willing to do the work on yourself with this we are going to end our transmission today have a good day